Hi everyone, 5th of August 2020, I turn 40, I'm 40 now, I'm middle aged, we're here outside Salford City Council's headquarters, lovely 100 year old building here, it's actually built in the 30s, Nin lovely 90 year old building here, so my last day of my 30s, I turn on the news and there's like 17 different angles of the largest ever non-nuclear explosion in the city during peacetime, ever. Now, 
I've looked at this, the footage of the 1996 IRA bombing in Manchester. That was a tiddler. This ammonium nitrite explosion. Is it nitrate or nitrite? Ammonium nitrate? We'll call it ammonium nitrate. This 2,700 ton warehouse blast in the port of Beirut. I mean, Jesus Christ, have you seen Beirut? Beirut's like Beirut these days. A couple of interesting points to note. There was an initial bang, first bang, then 10 minutes later, the bang. Okay, so in those 10 minutes, uh, here's the official story, and uh, I've got no reason to doubt it, but I do a little bit. Official story, they had the big uh, warehouse full of ammonium nitrate. Now, ammonium nitrate, when you mix that with diesel, you have your Oklahoma City bombing bomb. You have your Timothy McVeigh. He got executed for that. Blew up, he was a bad man, blew up 190 people, about 30 kids in the nursery. So he's a child killer. Anyway, Beirut, something caught fire. The story is they were welding the door shut. A welder set off an explosion. But when you look at the footage, they zoom in. It's pop, 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 pop. It, it looks like the beginning of a fireworks factory explosion. Now type in fireworks factory explosion. You'll see on YouTube, there's a lot of different examples in Holland, Mexico. But then the, here's the thing like, so, the Lebanese people, they're not stupid. They're not. They've got an almost functioning country, pretty much. Okay, the economy's not doing so well. But here's the thing, so you're doing ultra high temperature welding and then things start going boom and bang and boom and bang. Like, surely 10 minutes you can evacuate in 10 minutes a few miles back if like you're a Mr. Poor Agent and your welder's already died blowing up the doors of the ammonium nitrate storage facility. Evacuate the place. But no, everyone's like, get their, I mean, I appreciate it. They got their HD cameras out, so we all got to see this mother of all blasts. But what was popping beforehand? Was that ammonium nitrate popping? Pop, 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 pop. And why didn't the initial blast set off the, the rest of it? That's a bit of a silly question. Who knows what compartments there were for things to blow up in. But I just cannot understand, like, there were still drivers on the road on all the footage you see, like, driving, like, 200 yards away. There's footage, it's on Twitter, of a guy driving along, and he's, like, a mile away, and his car gets blown to pieces, and you see the shockwave coming towards him. What a weird thing to have on my last day of my 30s. Not that I, I mean, oh my, I, I got injured during that explosion. I fell over the coffee table in shock watching it.